The reason every woman wants to be treated like a queen is because it's something that's been fed to them since they were little girls. In stories, in movies, in fairy tales, etc. All of these are about a girl who's been treated like shit and is looking for someone to treat her better. So as they get older, they feel as though that's something they're gonna get. Until they see the reality of what it is that guys are. Now honestly, I ain't going front. Most of us ain't shit. And the woman ain't gonna see that till they get older because they're gonna give their nigga chance after chance after chance to become everything that she looks for in a man. Now as a woman gets older, her standards go from I wanna be treated like Cinderella to I wanna get treated better than the last nigga that I had. Because they start to see what it is that the world really is. Which comes down to my question, why is it that women find it okay to settle for less than what they deserve very often? See, what niggas don't understand nowadays is that usually a story behind that. For instance, this dude can be treating her like shit, calling her a bitch, talking down on her, doing everything that a woman shouldn't go through. But all it takes is for him to fuck up and for her to want to leave, for him to feel like he needs to be a man all of a sudden and tell her everything that it is that she wants to hear. And that's all it really takes for her to take it back every time. And it starts getting deeper because the more she forgives him, the more he gets comfortable with the fact that it's okay to fuck up because she's gonna take him back every time. So is he really in love with her? Or is he in love with the power that he has over her? And that situation can be even deeper because maybe she doesn't know what love really is. Every man she's settled with has become a disappointment to her in one way or another. And when you're around something for a certain amount of time, time and time again, you're gonna feel like that shit is normal. So now she feels like everything that she's going through right now with this nigga is completely normal. I mean, we all know it's not, but does she know that? She can tell us all day long, I deserve better. I need better. I know there's better niggas out there, but the reason she's gonna keep running to him, because that form of love that he's given to her, whether it's a piece of shit kind of love or not, it's the only kind of love that she knows. So is the nigga dumb for treating her like shit? Or is she even dumber for taking him back? I mean, sure, what he's doing isn't right. But how is he supposed to know the consequences to what he's doing if she keeps rewarding him with the very thing that should be taken away from him? This love shit is crazy, you know what I mean? Like, and this is why I stress fatherhood a lot. Like, I'm not a father. But I stress the idea that a father should always be there for the child, especially if it's a daughter. How is she supposed to grow up and know what it is that she deserves if she doesn't see her mother going through the very same thing? How is she supposed to know that she's a princess if her mother was never treated like a queen? Who's supposed to sit her down and tell her, baby girl, I know what it is to be a guy. I know what it is to treat a woman like shit, etc., etc., etc. Not being there for your child has a lot of long-term effects, but the only way a nigga's gonna know that is if he's actually there for his kid. All this shit is crazy, but the craziest part about it is that this is completely normal to us. This is on the, this is regular shit. So how are we supposed to get ourselves out of this normal, systematic bullshit that we're surrounded with that we call normal if we're just adding on to it? I don't know, man. I just wanted to talk my shit and just Get a couple things off my head, you know what I mean? It's your boy June Blaze and I'm off this.